You are the dietitian. What about the role of diet with regard to respiratory challenges for people with ALS? One of the, the biggest populations I see that those two kind of crash is patients whose diaphragm is very weak. When you take a breath, your diaphragm kind of pulls down, but if your stomach is full, it has to push against that full stomach. So for our patients that have really weak diaphragms, they can't get full because then they feel like they can't breathe. And so those are the patients that you have to kind of really work on small frequent meals or even supplemental tube feedings because they just literally cannot eat enough. But most patients will need, um, if they decide to have one, a feeding tube at some point. A good percentage of our patients get one before they even need it. And that's because the studies show that if their breathing function gets about half of what you would predict it should be, anything below that, there's a the higher risk to placing a feeding tube. Okay. Kelly, thank you so much for meeting with me today.